Where's the button for the missiles that shoot out at the other cars? Is there one of those? Yeah, it's just right here. Right now I'm sitting in a Land Rover. This car is probably in the neighborhood of $150,000 for the car. But maybe what you don't know and what you're about to see in this video is this video is all about bulletproofing cars. This Land Rover is fully bulletproof. Now not all bulletproofing is equal. There are different levels of bulletproofing. And so hopefully you can learn a little bit about that today as I learn about it and we're gonna see some cool stuff. This, it, this is a Kevlar blanket right here on top of the car. Look at this car. It looks like, honestly, what I would say, a piece of garbage. Like it's all torn apart. Look at the inside of it. In one week, this car that is all torn apart will look just like this car right here because this is the exact same kind of car and a week ago it was in the same state. There are four of these Toyota Land Cruisers. Right now I'm in a little town of Ogden, Utah at a company named Armor Max. They invited me in just to check out their shop today, learn a little bit about bulletproofing and I said, I guess I want to see this and learn it. And then our friend Zach is going to shoot some glass later and kind of show us what bulletproofing does and how it works. This company, Armor Max, is the leader in bulletproofing of cars for the entire world. These four cars specifically are going to the Middle East to somebody very, very high profile. This right here is thick enough to withstand up to five bullets from an AR-15. They've tested it up to 20 and it's been functional, but they will guarantee up to five. And then this plate right here covers the back. Underneath the car they have protection, even on the top of the car they have protection. Um, so what we've done is we built a box <laughs> that has about 20 or so tacks or so and the concept behind it is when the car is traveling, uh, these tacks will be, you know, you're going 40 miles an hour and these will be dispersed and these uh, tacks will be... This is real world. This isn't this like is, for some movie or this something. This is real world, yeah. So these can deflate any tire. So if you have a chaser, an attacker, uh, these tacks will scare them. Unless you have run flat tires. Unless you have run flat tires. Okay guys, so there was, a few minutes ago, Zach was trying to prank me and he almost got me. Somehow I remembered last second. Cause Zach, I could see it in his eyes. Like he's, he's not the best poker player. Okay. Um, where's the button for the missiles that shoot out at the other cars? Is there one of those? Yeah, it's just right here. So here's kind of where we just activate. So these are the buttons. Which buttons do what here? Um, so they were labeled earlier. Um, so I'm assuming this is the tack dispenser. So <laughs> you already learned that. Yeah, I already learned that. Um, these two are for the smoke screen. This is for the smoke screen. Uh, this is for the electrified door handles right here. So if I hit that, the electrified door handles are active. And then why is it so close to the hazard and like the uh, lights and stuff? Yeah, it's like, it's like to have I, I like because I feel like somebody's gonna be driving down. We're gonna some report like some guy's driving through Dubai, yeah. and all of a sudden he accidentally hits the wrong button, and there's tax on the road. And you see Ferraris and Lamborghinis. Just, that, have you ever had that happen? Yeah, that's what keeps us up at night. We haven't had that happen, but yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's crazy. Or the gas comes out, oh my gosh. Yeah. So, there's, we don't know what kind of gas he knows, but it's top secret what comes out. There are certain things that I'm sure for the camera that we're not even gonna show you that this car does because this is going to people that are very high up in the world. I don't know. This is, go, this is going to people that may be public figures or billionaires, people that have a target on their back possibly from the wrong crowd. And so, we're gonna keep a few of the things secret, but these guys are here at Armor Max, pretty amazing what they do to these cars. This is like James Bond. Magnificent, isn't she? We saw all the cars, we saw the trucks, we saw how the bulletproofing works, but now I kinda wanna see real life what it looks like. So, we have a few things, I'm trying to find them. Oh, here we go, right here. We got some groceries. These are cantaloupes, these are melons, some kind of things. And we have the glass down there. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the melons to put it behind the glass on the other side so that when we shoot at the glass, we can see how protected it is. You probably have seen that funny video where the president's motorcade tried to go over and it got totally stuck. I thought that video was awesome. If you notice when they open the door, and I'll put the B-roll of it right here, you can see that the door is super, super thick. Well, look at this glass right here. This is the same type of glass that the president would have in his car, except they double it up, so it's so it's a double the thickness, just to have added protection. So that car is really, really heavy. The same guys here at Armor X, they recently just took a Tesla Model S and they retrofitted it so it was completely bulletproof. And that made the car go from around 4,800 
pounds up to about 5,400 pounds. The car gained about 500 pounds in weight, so your drag racing time is definitely gonna lose just a little bit, but for the people that wanted that car in the Middle East, it's worth it for them to have that little bit of, of protection. So pretty cool how all this stuff works. Let's see it in action. We have a slow-mo camera here, slow-mo camera here, which is an iPhone. Zach did not want to sacrifice his Galaxy. Why not? Why don't you want, you don't want, is Android not good enough? I have to put the phone there that I care least about. <laughs> Last time feeling it. Here's the melon. The watermelon. Can we protect the watermelon? If it's good enough for a melon, it's good enough for my melon. Yeah. All right, so the safety is now off, and full disclosure, I have not sighted this gun, so if I miss this first shot, Bob, just let's just shoot. That's it. Did you just get hit with the shell? I Hunter? did. I did. It okay. got me. It was good though. That's why you have safety, right? He hits it right in the middle of the glass. Look at that. Bam! It doesn't get any better than that. Nice job. What can I say? Luck. Beginner's luck. Beginner's luck. <laughs> Look at the glass. Look at that. Nothing. Nothing. The melon is safe. Wow. This is how thick? An, this inch, is and an inch and a half thick. How many bullets do you think it could take before it's just like it's through it? Uh, we've tested around 20, 25 and something like this. Uh, but it's certified to take five rounds on this piece of glass. Certified five. But okay. I think it can hold about 20. Nice. Never been to an indoor gun range before. This looks like art over here. Look at this. Look, this is all the shots from the bullets. And then down here, this is all pieces of bullets. Look at that. Like, look right there. That's a bullet. Big old thick pieces of metal. Like, what is this? What even is this? All right, there's a little. A little behind the scenes. If you haven't seen Zach's video, he goes in depth, the science, everything behind um, the bulletproof glass and how it works. You'll have to check it out. I'll put a link at the end of this video, but it's been a fun day. It has been really cool, and I've definitely have learned a lot. So um, let me know if you want to learn more about bulletproof cars and different things. I know we talked about it earlier today, but they may be, they're going to be getting new cars in all the time that with different thickness and different things that they're doing. I just got to convince them to do a president's car. When are you going to do President Trump's cars or whatever the next president is? Come on. It's classified. All I know is that I'm bleeding out of my finger right now.